When you close your eyes, what do you have? You have the body as you feel it from within. And the main thing you want to pay attention to in this range of your awareness is the breath. Realizing that the in and out breath is connected with the energy throughout the body. So breathe in a way that feels good all the way throughout the body. Sometimes we say start at one spot and then expand your awareness from there. Other times it's good to start from an expanded awareness. Make that your framework right away. And the breath can come in and go out in the context of that framework. And you're more likely to have a breath that feels really good, because we're trying to get a sense of ease to fill the body. And if you see the breath is connected with the rest of the body, the energy of the breath and the energy of the rest of the body is connected, then it's a lot easier when there's a sense of well-being to come in to allow that well-being to flow around. So that you're fully aware right here, fully at ease right here. Because there's work that needs to be done. I had a question a while back from someone who said they find it easier and easier to get the breath feeling good in the body. They saw less and less need to meditate, as if getting the breath good in the body were the whole purpose of the meditation, which it's not. We clear out the breath as symptom management when you treat a disease. Sometimes you have to treat the symptoms first before you can get to the real cause. Otherwise, the patient is going to be impatient and not be able to put up with the rest of the treatment. Because sometimes some medical treatments can be pretty, pretty rough. The medicines can be pretty strong. And you have to go through a period of all kinds of things before the disease is done with. So you try to manage the symptoms first. And that's what the breath does. And then you actually turn around and look at the mind, because that's where the real problem is. The disease is suffering, and the source of the disease is the craving in your own mind. And so now you can see it clearly, because you've cleaned out your workspace. And you have a sense of well-being, a sense of belonging here. So you're not so quick to run away from where the real problem is. Otherwise we run into our, our screens, run into our other relationships. And that's where our lives are. But that's far away from where the real problem is. You want to see the problem, where it's coming from, so you can deal with it right at the source. So create the sense of well-being here as a way of preparing yourself for the work that needs to be done. And you find that the mind is in a much better mood to actually do the work, and because you're making yourself more sensitive in here. You're much more likely to see the subtle things of what's causing the disease as well.